Hello everybody, wherever you're at today, hope you're doing well. Where am I at? Huh? I think I'll give you a hint. How about bluegrass and horses? We're in Richmond, Kentucky. We uh, got here about 5 p.m. and I'll let you see what's behind me here. Then you'll know exactly where we're at. Looky there. We're at a Walmart. And uh, with prices of gas, I don't mind staying where I can stay for free. We're on our way to Pigeon Forge and other destinations in Tennessee but uh, so glad to find this Walmart and I was really glad when I went in and she said it was friendly RV friendly no no semis but it's RV friendly so I bought some cones and I put some cones out and uh, I do got the generator I'm not going to run it very long I just want to top off the batteries uh, as far as gas prices, we have seen uh, gas as low as $2.99 in Kentucky. Our last fill up we paid uh, $3.06. Our first fill up in Ohio we paid $3.15. And uh, do have our slides out a little bit as you can see with cones around them. We don't put the slides out all the way and make ourselves at home. But there's a, that's a nice looking rig over there. That one over there. It's a big old Monaco or it's a big old diesel pusher and that's another Winnebago sightseer right there beside us but you know it's it's about the journey it's not about the destination so much we do want to get where we're going but uh, we enjoyed so much scenery today and um, I'm gonna throw a video together with some of the scenery we've seen but it's uh it's about the journey. We can jump in a plane and and fly 30,000 feet above the above the earth and not see anything but clouds. Or we can jump in a big old RV and and go 5,000 miles and see all kinds of beautiful things. And Kentucky's got some nice roads. Uh, the roads in Ohio is far worse than Kentucky. So. Yep, yeah, we're in Richmond, Kentucky, we're on our way to Pigeon Forge, and we'll get back with you a little bit later. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. We're still in Richmond, Kentucky. We're getting ready to pull out. 
head on down to Pigeon Forge. I think we're about three hours away. We got one of the slides in. We took the dogs out a couple times. Mr. Sadie wasn't feeling well last night. Connie said that one of the worst nights she ever had, so I'm, I feel sorry for her. Um, it was cold last night in the RV. It was like, uh, I kept it on 66 overnight, and then I turned it up to 68 when we got up to warm up a little bit. Just trying to conserve a little propane and batteries. Batteries uh, was right around 12.5 when we got up this morning, so it was good. Uh, we watched a lot of TV last night, and uh, the furnace seemed to uh, cycle about every 10 or 15 minutes. So these things aren't made for 30s. And it's, it's it's down in the 30s. So um, yeah. But it's the next morning, we're getting ready to go. She's in there tidying up, getting ready, getting herself ready. We already tidied up. It's a beautiful morning. It looks like it's gonna be a great day. The sun's nice and bright this morning. Whether you can see that behind me or not. But uh, the semi did come in here last night. He's got his hood open. I don't know whether broke down but he idled most of the night it looks like it's 304 here for gas I got to get my cones picked up got the slide in on the other side I got to put the two slides in on this side I did open them up last night I'll tell you why because they're meant to either be opened or closed and because they got rubber seals on them and I had them part way open and that was just letting our heat run right out the sides of them. So, live and learn, I guess. Live and learn. At least I don't have to hook the Jeep up this morning. I've got to put these two slides in when we're ready to roll and pick up one, two, three, four cones. And we're going to be off. But looks like the other two are getting ready to, to roll too. So, but... That's our night in Richmond, Kentucky. Um, try to throw a little video together for you when the, we get time. Yeah, it's gonna be an experience. You have a blessed day and know that Wood Rings on the Road, and Camping with Endless Weekends, loves you from the bottom of our heart.
almost forgot to plug the brake buddy back in. I unplugged it last night because I was thinking I didn't want it sitting out here plugged in all night on 12 volts. So running my Jeep battery down. So thankfully I remembered to come out here and plug the brake buddy in. There she sits. Y'all don't know what a brake buddy is. That's a brake buddy. When the, I apply the brakes in the RV, the unit in the RV communicates with this brake buddy, the forward inertia, the braking, and it, the brake buddy then applies the brake on the Jeep. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the brake buddy plugged back in and we're gonna get on the road. Probably time to end this video. I know it's not very long. When we're traveling on one night stays, it's hard to make a long video. So I'll tell you what, we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.